you fill up the bowl with candy, and then when somebody reaches for it, I think he goes, ah, and like screams. Like, oh crap. <laughs> Okay guys, holy crap, today we are at Dollar General in Louisville, Ohio. It is sunnier than sunny out here, but I think it's gonna be spookier than spookier in there. Okay, we do have an aisle of Halloweeniness here, so we're gonna check this stuff out. The first thing we have is the Halloweeny mini cheese ball treats. These are like trick or treat, treat, uh, treats? Bag, I can't even talk. <laughs> Bagged mini cheese ball treats to hand out for trick-or-treats. Okay, then we have the carving kits here. Look at this, I love this, the pumpkin teeth. This is absolutely hilarious. I actually need to do that this year. Every year I see these and I say I wanna do it, and I never do it, so I need to do it. What in the heck is this? Look at this. It's like a pumpkin mug kind of thing, like a drink holder with a straw. This is so cool, and it's huge too. What in the heck would you have in there that you'd need that much? Here's a creepy baby doll mask, it looks like. One eye. Okay, what's this? Oh, we got Day of the Dead masks back here. Okay. Look at this, we have foam Halloween stickers. These are actually really cool if you're doing like the uh, scrapbooks. Look, you can tell from the back that there's um, spiders in there. Oh, there they are, purple spiders, orange pumpkins, black bats, white skulls, and I would bet, yeah, there's ghosts in there too, white ghosts. Those are really cool if you're scrapbooking. What is this atrocity? It's a Michael Myers, but it's like the worst Michael Myers mask I've ever seen in my life. Oh look, we have the chains of death here too. Here's a light up mask, a skull. That's pretty cool actually. Can we try it? Um, I don't think we can try it, but imagine that lit up. That's pretty awesome. And here's another one down here. Ooh, this one's cool too. I think I like the dark one better than the light one. Hanging spooky, uh, I almost called it a skeleton. Hanging spooky jack-o'-lantern right here. And what's this guy over here with a chain of death on his neck? Hello? It's like a jack-o'-lantern skull with blinking eyes. And then we have Mr. Hanging Skeleton here. Let's see if we can turn him around. He's saying, hi, how's it going, guys? Look at these little dancing solar characters. We got a cat on a boo pumpkin, a haunted house with a bat, a pumpkin that's actually a ghost. Oh, look at this one. It's like a, a jack-o'-lantern uh, scarecrow. That's pretty cool. Here's a pumpkin stack. Ooh, we got a Day of the Dead uh, skeleton stack here too. And these collect power from the sun and then it makes them dance. They're not dancing right now, but I guess if you took them out of the package, they would dance. Look at these mini pinatas. These are so tiny. Look, it's smaller than my hand. Like how are you supposed to hit this with a stick and bust it open? <laughs> they got a pumpkin, I mean a, a ghost there and a pumpkin here and in a black cat. This one's actually pretty cool. Look at this skull. Ooh, this is like, what the heck? It's not metal, I think it's ceramic. It's really heavy though. Yeah, what is it? Um, it doesn't say, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's ceramic. I can't resist. Oh, light up haunted house. Let's see, oh, we got a button. Um, oh, you can kind of see the lights turning on in there. And then we got this guy here. Uh, let's see if he's gonna react. No, he's like a motion activated uh, skeleton clown. You fill up the bowl with candy, and then when somebody reaches for it, I think he goes, ah, and like screams. Like, oh crap. <laughs> see what I mean? I can't believe he played a trick on me. He sat there and just waited. He wanted to scare me and he did it. You scared the crap out of me. Look, he's still going too. It's literally been like five minutes and he won't shut up. Okay, we got the candy corn lights here. These are pretty cool. Purple lights here. 
And these are purple too, but they look a lot darker than purple. Look, happy Halloween pumpkin. I love the Halloween party plates. Look at this, we got a ghost. It looks like a Pac-Man ghost. Oh, we got a Frankenstein. That's cool. And then we got a black cat. And then we have the pumpkin. Look at these Halloween cups up here. Try me, flashing light up cup. Try me, oh, okay, it's got a, oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, let's try the orange one. I wanna see that one flash. Come on, flashing orangey. There we go. Pretty cool. Look at those together. Flashing orangey pumpkin cups. This is pretty cool too. This is like a day of the dead skull inside a cup. What the heck? How do they even do that? That is pretty cool. Battery operated lights. Look, we got a ghost and bats and pumpkins. Ooh, it's a try me. Yeah, look at that. How cool is that? You'd have to get really crafty to make something out of these. Like reach up in there, you gotta try to get the candy out of his bowl. No, the other bowl. <laughs> he goes on for like five minutes and never shuts up. That is funny. Oh, look, we got solar steak lights. Three bucks each, these are cool. You just put them in the ground and then this sucks up the power from the sun, and that's what makes them light up. Pretty cool. We got a haunted house on that one. And then these have, ooh, spooky pumpkins. Cool. There's only four of them there, but, I mean, they would do the job if you have a... Whoops, I'm not going to place down. Sorry. What in the heck is this thing anyway? It's just like a, a pumpkin scene, but I do see a try me button on it, so let's give it a try. Oh... You can barely tell, but it lights up behind the cat. Pretty cool. Flickering light bulb. Apparently you can just screw this into any light socket and it'll flicker in a very spooky way. What in the world is this kind of mask? This looks like a Mr. T mask. <laughs> Mr. T. I, I didn't even know what to say about it. That's so creepy. One-eyed Mr. T with a mohawk. Um, I don't know. That's just plain creepy. Oh, cool. We got the puffy stickers. Puffy stickers are so awesome. Look at these. Holy crap, look. It's the Headless Horseman. I love these puffy stickers. There's two Headless Horsemans. Look, the headstone says bad luck. And there's a spooky tree, too. These are like the coolest puffy stickers I've ever seen in my life. Look, there's even more awesome stickers behind it. These are felt, but they're candy corns, like little candy corn monsters. And then there's felt ghost stickers back here. Look at these, look at the face on that one. These are pretty funny. I love them. And wait, last but not least, we have the pumpkin felt stickers. Some of them have the googly eyes and some of them just have the regular pumpkin faces. These are so cool, I'm gonna buy them all. Okay, we have some kind of a mask here. Ooh, it's a silvery one. A silvery skull ghoul mask. And lots of glowing, wait a minute. Holy crap, guys, look at this. Zombie pirate army guys to play with. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cool. Look, this one says mummy army. It's a bunch of mummies, plastic mummies. These are like the, the, the green army guys, but they're mummies and zombies. How cool is that? Good job, Dollar General. Oh my gosh, there's even more cool ones here. Look, we also have the skeleton army. Look, some of them have wings. What in the heck, a skeleton with wings? And then down here we have lots of awesome glowing things. Look, we have a glow skull lantern. Okay, we have glowing jack-o-lantern stick. Do you, what are you, oh, okay, I see. It's just the stick, but you put it inside your jack-o'-lantern instead of like a, uh, a candle. Okay, that's cool. Glowing pumping, uh, glowing pumpkin necklace. Can't even talk. Glowing eyeball wand. And in a glowing mask, it looks like a cat. Oh, we have a couple more here. We have the glow ring. These are like glowing pumpkin rings. Glowing skeleton pendant. That's a necklace. Okay, let's see, what's this one? Glowing pendant necklace, it just has Halloween-y stuff on the sticks. What is this one down here? Glowing pumpkin bracelet. Okay, these would be good to give to your kids if they're gonna go trick-or-treating. 
so that you see the lights everywhere they go. Oh look, speaking of glowing, they have the glowing vampire teeth. How many are, there's 12 of them in there. If you have 12 kids and you want their teeth to glow. <laughs> and look on the other side here, they have tons and tons of Halloween trick-or-treat candy. Oh, look at these sixlets. I love these sixlets. It's like a very strange tasting chocolate. What the heck? It's like a Halloween bug on there. Oh, now these are delicious. Reese Pieces packs. Look, there's peanut butter cups, Reese Pieces, and Fast Breaks. Here's a fun fact. I started seeing Reese Pieces because it was funny, and I honestly don't know how to pronounce Reese's, because you don't say, I want some Reese peanut butter cups, or do you? Oh man, I always got a ton of these whenever I used to go trick-or-treating. These little mixed fruit chews, they're pretty good. But this is what I wanted, Snickers. I always wanted Snickers, I love Snickers. Oh yeah, and who doesn't want the big size M&Ms? Wait, what, sharing size? Share with myself, maybe? <laughs> Look at this, we have Halloween cotton candy. Holy crap, It's it tastes like candy corn. What's this one? Cotton candy, I guess this one's just orange because it has a pumpkin on it, but this one apparently tastes like candy corn. Man, that would be good if you want a complete sugar overload. And what is this? Kool-Aid popping candy. I wonder if that's like Pop Rocks. Hmm, peculiar. Oh, heck yeah, look at these guys. Reese peanut butter pumpkins. These are absolutely the best. If you ever want fresh peanut butter cups, pass up the peanut butter cups and go for whatever they have out for the holiday. In this case, pumpkins. Mmm, animal crackers. Pass. They got Krabby Patties. Yes, I'm ready. Ooh, and a spooky mix of Sour Patch Kids. Look, he's a pirate. All right, I guess that's it except for these two spooky pumpkins I see here. Oh, look, it literally is a spooky, and I called it a pumpkin. There's the pumpkins, there's the spooky, but they're pillows, not pumpkins. Now, if you want to be the cool house on a neighborhood, you come down here and you get these things to pass out. Full boxes of candy. Or even better, look at this. Imagine going to a house trick-or-treating and getting a full-size XL Mr. Good Bar. Oh my gosh, they also actually have the Voodoo Mountain Dew. Look at this, I had one the other day. It was pretty tasty, but it wasn't the best thing I've ever had. I told you to stay away. Oh my god. <laughs> 